said Robin again, and Rosie thought that perhaps she should have told him really, so she said, well, you can give him the cabbage and I'll give him the carrots. And then Robin thought that he should have thought of getting some food for Fury himself and that he shouldn't have made a fuss about it, so he said, thanks Rosie. Sorry, I shouted. It's all right, said Rosie. Here, Fury, have a carrot. Fury was just about to open his mouth for the carrot when... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, gosh! Oh, whatever's that? It's coming from Mr. Ships. Come on! Quick! said Rosie. Oh, here, Fury! And she dropped the food into Fury's stable and ran after Robin. Mr. Ship! Are you all right? Oh! Oh! Hello, my dears. You've been calling me? Yes. We didn't know what the noise was, said Robin. Noise? said Mr. Ship. Noise? That weren't noise. That was music. Well, said Rosie, it was sort of noisy music. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. <laughs> and maybe it was more noise than music. Oh, I've forgotten how to play my old fiddle. It's so long since I've seen it. Where did you get it, Mr. Ship? Well, that all depends on what you mean. Hmm? Said Rosie. What do you mean, what we mean? Well, I got it from South America when I was sailing round the world. <laughs> well, I didn't get it from South America this morning. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, this morning I got it out of my old sea chest, where it's been for many a long year. I'm doing a bit of spring cleaning, you see. Oh, said Rosie. You're not going to send us off while you do the dusting, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'll finish that this afternoon. I'll play another tune on my violin, if you like. I thought you said it was a fiddle, Mr. Ship. Oh, well, fiddle's just another name for a violin said Mr. Ship, only not quite so posh. Oh, Mr. Ship? Yes, Rosie? Could we play as well? Oh, yes, said Robin. Could we? Well, said Mr. Ship, I don't see how. It only needs two hands, one for the fiddle and one for the bow. No, Mr. Ship, can we play our own things? Things? said Mr. Ship, still puzzled. What things? Have you got a cake tin lid, a wooden spoon, and two pan lids? Oh, said the old sailor. Things like that. Ah, well, I dare say I have. Hang on. And he went into the boat shed. Here we are, he said. Is this what you're after? Oh, yes. yes, said Robin and Rosie, both together. Right, said Mr. Ship, once they'd all got their instruments ready. Now, what are we going to play? Well, said Robin, we're best at the Grand Old Duke of York. Yes, agreed Rosie, but we've practiced that. right -o. then that's what we'll play said Mr. Ship. Now, let's see now where... Uh, um, um, ah, yes, are oh, you remember? Right. Off we go, then. A one, two, a one, two, three. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He, he marched, marched them up, up to the top, top of the hill, hill and he marched down, down again. again. And, and when, when they, they were up, they were up. up. And when they were down, and when they were down, and when they were up, 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 they Rosie! Oh, yes. <coughs> and Fury stopped eoing, and Ben Gunn stopped squawking. 
Whew, said Mr. Cockle. I think we got through. Come on, you noisy lot, called Mrs. Cockle. It's time for lunch. And time you stop disturbing the neighbourhood, Mr. Shippen, called Grand Rowdy with a smile. Well, you come and help with my spring cleaning, Mrs. Rowdy, and I'll let you sing in our next concert. Mr. Ship laughed back. Well, are you satisfied with all the noise you've been making? Oh yes, grinned Rosie. And, and we're, we're starving. starving. And they all went in for lunch. Robin and Rosie and their mother and father Helen and Christopher were finishing the cup of coffee that they always had after lunch. And Grand Rowdy was finishing the cup of tea that she always had. Ah, she said. That's better. Well, now I'd better get on with the kitchen. Oh, Gran, said Mrs. Cockle. Um, I, I wonder if you'd do the bedrooms this afternoon. But it's my kitchen day, Mrs. C, said Grand Rowdy. Bedrooms is tomorrow. Yes, I know, said Helen Cockle, but I want to... Uh, there's something I want to do in the kitchen myself. Oh. Grand Rowdy looked puzzled. All right, I'll do the bedrooms then, and I'd better get started. Mrs Cockle waited for Grand to go, and then... Listen, she whispered to the others. I was talking to Mr. Ship yesterday, and he told me that today is Grand Rowdy's birthday. Oh, a birthday! Said Robin and Rosie together, and Mr. Cockle said it had been nice to get her a present. I'm going to make a special birthday tea for Gran, said Mrs. Cockle very quietly, but it's got to be a surprise. Oh, great! Said Robin. Ooh, said Rosie. I like secrets. Yes, well, make sure you keep it, said Christopher Cockle. Oh, yes, oh, yes we, we will. will, said Robin and Rosie, both together. And now you'd better go and play and let me get on while Gran's upstairs, said their mother. I'll call you when tea's ready. A few moments later, Robin and Rosie came out of the back door, and Rosie was carrying a paper bag. What have you got? asked Robin. Shh, said Rosie. Come on, let's go to Mr. Ship's yard. But I'll tell you then. Now, said Robin, what have you got? I've got some currants and raisins, said Rosie, and a slice of bread and jam and a carrot. Oh, great, said Robin. We can feed Fury. It's not for Fury, Rosie said. Anyway, donkeys don't eat jam. Well, said Robin, they don't eat currants either. Oh, stop being silly, said Rosie. This is important. It's to make a cake. A cake? Robin was very puzzled. A cake for Gran Rowdy, said Rosie. A birthday cake. Wow. Robin was very excited. Great. Oh, we haven't got an oven. And cakes need flour, don't they? Oh. Rosie suddenly felt very silly. I'd forgotten. Oh, bother. Wait a bit. I've got an idea. Uh, Mr. Ship! Mr. Ship! And Rosie called too. Mr. Ship! Mr. Ship! Hello, my dears. Now then, what's all the excitement? Oh, Mr. Ship, it's Gran Rowdy's birthday, and Mum's making a special tea, and it's got to be a secret, and we want to make a birthday cake, and we haven't... Whoa, 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 bless my barnacles. The way you talk is like a storm at sea. 
Now then, let's start again. Well, said Rosie, we've got some of the things to make a cake, but we can't cook it, said Robin, so I thought we could make it with some of your special powder. Why, special powder? Mr. Ship looked puzzled. That you keep in your shed, said Rosie. For mending walls, said Robin. What? Oh, <laughs> plaster! <laughs> Laughed Mr. Ship. <laughs> Stuff that goes solid without cooking. Yes, said Robin and Rosie, both together. <laughs> well, said Mr. Ship, still laughing. I suppose you could have enough for, for a cake. <laughs> Here, hang on, or you put your some in a tin. There, he said. Now, if you mix the water with the powder, and you put the other bits in, you'll have a cake in no time. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you Mr. Mr. Ship, Ship, said Robin and Rosie, both together. But I'll have to leave you to get on with it, said Mr. Ship, because I'm going to buy a... Well, uh, I'm going to do a bit of shopping. All right, Mr. Ship, said Rosie, and... Bye, Bye Mr. Mr. Ship, Ship, they said, and then they started to make their cake. Mum, time to come and get washed. Tea's ready. Coming, called Rosie, and she said to Robin, Come on, it's Gran's birthday tea, and bring the cake. Of yeah, course I'll bring the cake, said Robin. Hey, wait for me! When Robin and Rosie came in, the table was already set. Gosh, said Robin, sausage rolls and sandwiches and jelly, and trifle, and, and party, party hats. hats. They squeaked together. Hey, shh, quiet you two, Gran will hear, said Mr. Cockle. She's just coming downstairs. Now quickly, sit over there and get your hats. She's here. Goodness gracious me, said Gran as she came into the room. That's a fancy table. What's a going on? Happy birthday, said Mrs. Cockle, and happy, happy birthday, birthday, said Robin and Rosie and Mr. Cockle all together. Well, I never, said Gran Rowdy. Oh, <laughs> however, did you know it was my birthday? Cos I told him, said a voice, and it was Mr. Ship poking his head round the door. Happy birthday, my dear. And hang on. <laughs> I got a little something for you. He came in and put a square cardboard box on the table. And I've got something too. But we've, we've got, got something as well, said Robin and Rosie. And two more cardboard boxes were put on the table. Well, said Gran Rowdy. Well, it's just as well I got something for us all. <laughs> and she went into the hall. I wonder what it is. Gosh, oh, this is exciting. There, said Gran as she came back into the room. And she put another cardboard box on the table. <laughs> I've made you all a birthday cake. Oh, goodness me, said Mrs. Cockle. And I've made a birthday cake. 
Bless my barnacles, said Mr. Ship, and I bought a birthday cake. Oh, well, said Grand Rowdy, and we've, we've made, made a, a birthday, birthday cake. cake. And then everyone laughed and laughed. And when they'd had a really good laugh, they all had a really good sing. And they sang... Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Grand Rowdy. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> then they all sat down to tea and birthday cakes. Mm.